In this Illustrator Quick Tip, we're going to take a look at one detail in the changes to image trace in Illustrator version 27.6.1. So, what I want to do is trace this in black and white, and I want to leave out the white. This could be achieved by checking the Ignore White option in Image Trace. But nowadays, this is gone. So, let's take a look at it. And first of all, you see that everything is grayed out. In this case, this happens because we don't have just an image here, but it's a clip group. That happened because it's a PSD that I embedded. So let's first release that, go to Object Clipping Mask Release, and then let's select the mask and delete it. So let's select it, and now I can trace that. And I'm just going to trace it. Illustrator has auto-detected what it can apply to it, which has been logo in this case, which is wrong. But let's just take a look at advanced. And you see there's no ignore white in here. So let's go to a different preset. We are going to use sketch. And then let's take a look at the color settings. Sketch just does black and white, which is nice for this thing. This is the result I want to get. And also, it has turned on the Ignore Color option. And you see, Ignore Color, and it's automatically been set to white. You could also click the eyedropper here, and then pick a color you want to ignore. But in this case, it's OK. Let's take a look at a different example that I've got in here. And this one, well, we cannot use it with Sketch, because then it would be black and white. So let's go to, in this case, maybe logo. And then I want to also ignore white. But you see, ignore color, in this case, I need to turn it on first. And then I can use the eyedropper and click on white and then ignore white. And also, I could click it again and then click on orange. And you see, now it would just ignore orange. And you could set this to any color you would like in this. But let's revert to the original. And I'm going to trace this as a photo. And you see, in this case, ignore color cannot even be checked. It's just turned off. And that is happening because in the advanced settings, this method is set to overlap now. And with overlap, you cannot ignore a color. So you need to set this to a button. And then you see you can ignore the color. And then also go to the eyedropper and just pick a color you want to ignore. So that's how this change now is working.